Hello everyone, welcome back to another Mattel Jurassic World tour review. And today we're going to be taking a look at the massive action and Paleosaurus from Jurassic World Dominion. And recently I have been, um, I have been like looking all over websites for cheap toys. I looked at, um, Super Toy, I forgot what it was called. It's like a British toy store. Um, I looked all over there to find these figures and they were very cheap, but I didn't really buy them because I didn't really feel like waiting forever to get a figure shipped all the way to me from Great Britain or whatever. And then I looked all over eBay. I've been like recently, I've been just doing a lot of figure research and seeing what websites have the cheapest individuals to buy from and stuff like that. And I can't, well, I just went back and then after I got done doing all this extreme research stuff with the figures and the toy lines all over other websites, I just went back to Amazon and I just went and I just, I didn't really know what else to do much. So I just went to Amazon. I went to the Dominion lineup and I just bought this figure because it was only what, like 13 bucks or 14 bucks on. And um, I was thinking about getting the, I was thinking about getting the massive action Uchangosaurus, but I um I wanted to get a sauropod because this is my first sauropod bot. And yeah, I wanted to get this one so I got him. And today yeah. It little and it's crazy because I bought the figure yesterday and it came well I bought the figure last night exactly and it like came this morning and it shipped fast as hell towards me. So yeah. This is, um, I got to say, this is a a good species that they added. I don't really know much about the Impeliosaurus, but we'll talk about that later in the review. Um, we got the Jurassic World Dominion logo and all that stuff, fun stuff. Got the action feature, introduction, pictures, and stuff like that. Just the render pictures on the front. And then on the back, we got the Uchangosaurus and the skin code for the figures and then pretty much just the action figure and that's just pretty much it so i'm going to cut this open in a second and um so yeah okay and yeah this is a very unique looking figure. It has spines all over its body, obviously. And um, anyway, before we start talking about it, here is the scan code for anyone that wants to scan that. And um, yeah, so we got the spines all over the body. We got the... Um, it has like really tough and spiky osteoderm all over the body. And the limbs are, the front limbs are smaller than its back limbs. And also it has osteoderm on its hind limbs too, like right there. And also it has it on this side as well. And then the action feature is like pretty much like this. And you go down like that, go up. You can swivel the head up, jaw articulation, that you can also swivel it some side to side. And yeah. Then, um, I gotta say, this is a really nice looking figure. I don't really know much about Impelius, uh, Impelosaurus, Impelosaurus. All I know is that it lived during the Jurassic I don't remember, but it is some type of, I think, but all I know, well, right now, all I know about this species is that it is a titanosaur. I think so. It's a titanosaur. And, um, yeah, it has this overall, mar no, it's not maroon, or I, I don't know. It's not, no, it's not maroon. That's not maroon. The, well, the main color all over the body is not maroon. That is just some brown or reddish brown color all over the body, which looks really nice. I really like how it contrasts this with the brown upper color in the upper part of the body. I really like how it um, 
it has the blue coloring on the face a little bit and there goes his eye and the eye is perfectly painted right there too and then let's take a look inside the mouth it has this shiny gloss like detail inside the mouth and um the teeth are decently sized for i guess that's how it's supposed to look and you got the overall spiky spiny rough and osteoderm details all over the body and the detail goes all the way down to the tail but the only thing that doesn't touch the tail is the brown color up here and um i gotta say this is a nice figure and um also they did not paint the toe claws of course <laughs> and um I don't know if this is my figure, but there's also like a little bit of a brown spot right there. Maybe it's part of the paint apps. It's probably supposed to look like that. And um, then we got the white color over here. And um, yeah, so there's a little, there's like some white color on the underside of the neck. And then it goes all the way to the jaw. And then like the whole jaw is like colored, is like filled up with that color. And then you got the teeth. And um, yeah so then also the blue color on the other side it also has that too and it also has the sparks and spines on the neck neck back and these ones look like teeth man they are kind of big for this animal um and we got the Jurassic World. There's pretty much just nothing else for me to say. And um, I'm going to get some comparisons out. So first, let's take a look at another Dominion figure. The colors on this figure will match up with this Ampelosaurus. And let's just pull out the Ankylosaurus. Now, if you take a look at these both of these figures compared, you can see that they both have spiky osteoderm on its body. They both have red coloring, red or brown coloring on the other side of the body, side of the body. Um, they both have, uh, yeah. This is like this size comparison between both of the figures. This is what it both looks like. So see if it just swings it. But that's when, this is where it's going to. And then, we got the Roar Attack Kentosaurus. And um, this figure is really not, it's not greatly huge compared to it. It's almost as tall as it just with its plates. And uh, if you take a look at the comparison on that, turn the batteries off. And um, yeah. And then let's bring out another figure. Oh, okay. Let's get. The T-Rex, the Dinoscape T-Rex that I always pull out. And then, um, ooh, something like that. This is the Impala Source. Wow, this thing is uh, pretty small compared to the Mighty Rexy. And, um, yeah. So, yeah, this thing is uh, pretty small. This thing was clearly... I don't know. I don't really know the actual scientific size comparison in real life because I was looking up the Impilosaurus on like Wikipedia and stuff like that. And just looking up articles and stuff like that. I didn't really pay attention to the size parts where it was like talking about how big it was and stuff like that. And I don't even know, to be honest though, right now at this moment, I don't even know if this figure is even, my bad, not the figure, if the actual dinosaur species is even bigger than T-Rex, I don't even know. Maybe it's not, maybe it is. Maybe it's around the same size, maybe it isn't. I don't know. I didn't really pay attention to the size, what he was saying. Then, let's just pull out the Carnotaurus. And this figure is obviously smaller than the Toro. So yeah, and this action feature is really not too different. It has, it is, I'm not gonna lie, the action feature of this Ampelosaurus or Massive Action, it does remind me of Primal Attack because with Primal Attack, 
<sighs> Sorry about that. You um you have the figures, right? And from Primal Attack, from the Primal Attack waves, the figures, there's like a button on the back of the tails, and you spin the tail or you twist the tail to twist the head, and then you do this. Hold on. You do this. You can also do it up. You can do the exact same thing with this. Except that you cannot twist the tail on the pillow, but you can rotate it like that and go up and down. No, that's just the whole twist over. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Perfect. And then we got these on the center tops. And this figure is smaller than the sauropod. And they can both do the same thing where they can go up like that. Um, and same thing with this. Except that the impeller source cannot do what I'm doing here with the Sino. It cannot twist a tail, but it can do this, of course. Yeah. And this is probably my favorite comparison that I'm going to do in the video right now. But the Stegosaurus. Uh, hold on, let me pull it out. Okay. Okay. And... I don't know, but this figure might be bigger than Impel. No, it's not. It's wider. Maybe it's wider. I don't know. So we pull out. So this is good. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Let's just say, um, this figure's head is. Is it even right above? Oh my gosh, it isn't. What about length? This thing is longer. No, it's not. Hold on. Yeah, Stegosaurus is longer for some reason. Stegosaurus is longer regardless of how proportionate you put it. It's literally longer. I'm literally doing an act. I'm putting my hand like this and measuring it. It's longer by like barely an inch or whatever. And um, yeah, that's gonna. That's um, that's pretty much going to do this for this review. So yeah, uh, and one more thing before I go. So in the last review, I said that I was going to um get wait i don't know if i i don't remember if i said it but i was thinking that i was going to get the uh the hammond collection ian malcolm figure i did buy that already like a week or two ago and it has not shipped yet i bought it from entertainment earth so it's probably most likely going to take probably some more weeks before it actually arrives here because in the last video, I think I, I think I may have said that um, that I was going to review a ham collection figure, and that ham collection figure was Ian Malcolm. I didn't actually say that it was Ian Malcolm. I just said it was going to be any ham collection figure in general, and I only said that because I assumed that it was going to get here earlier than I expected. But it, I'm pretty sure it's going to take a little bit more weeks to get here actually and um yeah and also let's do one more comparison let's do hold on let's do these are all the sauropods i have you got the baby brachiosaurus and you got the ampelosaurus two these are literally the only two sauropods i have like this is it this is the legacy of my sword power collection. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Anyways. Yeah. So anyways, if you guys enjoyed this review, leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel. And you can get this figure off of Amazon for about like $14 to $15. Because that's how much I paid for it when I got it. And um, 
if you look up at, um, yeah, that's what it was called. It's called Smith's Toys Superstores. If you go to that website, they have that figure for, like, an incredibly good price for, like, only 15 bucks. So, I guess that is a good price. And that's not even the best part. They have lots of other figures, but for, like, a really, really cheap, extremely cheap deal. Cheaper than you'll ever think it would be. But, yeah. Um... Yeah, this is Nick Dead 100 signing off, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.